Buongiorno. Hello to my 3D outfit and roll. I was wearing blazer dress with a cup and boots para Emily and Paris and vibes. Here we are at the famous tourist spot in Rome, which is the Colosseum. It is still the largest standing amphitheater in the world, but it got damaged due to earthquakes. So you can see here the other side of the Colosseum, so this is how it looks like on the other side. This is the Ark of Constantine. There are many arcs in Rome, but this is the largest triumphal arc in Rome, and it is located between the Colosseum and Palatine Hill. Now we're heading to the hidden spot or the best spot in the Colosseum. So I don't know if it's still hidden but let's see and we'll find out. So I'm gonna tell you the steps. If you are from the metro, you need to take left and then you can find these stairs and then you will cross the road and then go up and then find these stairs again and then the bridge. You need to take this bridge and then you need to go across the road and then you can find this fence and then enter the gate and voila you found it These are the cobblestone you can find anywhere in Rome. So that is why it's advisable to wear comfy shoes na hindi ko sinunod. We supposed to go to Palatine Hill para mas lip lang sana. Kaya lang din wala kaming tickets. So bumalik na kami. We're here now at the Spanish Steps or Piazza de Spagna. And this is what you call the Fountain of the Longbow. This fountain is made into the shape of a half-sunken ship with water overflowing its sides into a small basin. <laughs> Now let's start to climb this monumental stairway and this Spanish steps it consists of 135 steps and it links the Trinita de Monte church at the top of the steps and the Spanish embassy from the bottom of the steps. And just a tip guys, this is one of the famous tourist spots in Rome so you need to be careful all the time as there are a lot of scammers and statues here. So one of the scenarios of scamming caught on the camera, see. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So yes, these people selling roses, they are one of the scammers because sometimes they will put the roses into your hands though you're not planning to buy and then they will ask you money. Then they will make a scene for you to pay. So better avoid these people whenever they are near to you. Finally, we reach at the top and this is the view. Amazing. Wow! And as I've informed you in my previous videos in Rome uh, tour, I've mentioned that there are many small fountains in Rome and this is drinking water so now I'll show you that I will try this one. So this is the best way to save money during your tour in Rome or anywhere in Europe. So all you need is just to bring a bottle of water and fill it.
one of the foods that you shouldn't miss to try in Italy is the gelato. Now we're waiting for the bus going to our next destination. And while waiting, you can find small cars anywhere. The reason is because Rome is known for its narrow streets and limited parking space, so they prefer small cars. Finally, we arrive at Campo di Fiore. In English, this is called Field of Flowers. So this place is a market where you can find the flowers, fruits, and vegetables and other local delicacies of Rome. In this market, you can find also the Monumento a Giordano Bruno. Bruno was burned alive in this market. They said that this is the monument to the brave free thinker. Now it's time for us to eat. This restaurant serves pizza and pasta, so I'm really excited to try. You could find a lot of street music in Rome. This is because music was an important aspect of Roman religious rituals. It was used to set the rhythm of the ritual and invoke certain emotions. And that's it! Room tour is done! Bye bye!